everybody, Sean Fox here. Um, I'm doing the L episode or issue of, I believe it's April? Yes, April, with Amanda Seyfried. Um, I think she was the cover for this issue because she did her new movie for Red Riding Hood. So they're trying to get some promotion out there and some marketing, but she's beautiful in her own right. So let's get started. This is the cover. It's called the Genius Issue. Um, why, I don't know, but we'll figure it out. My first couple picks that I had, I love this Chanel bag. Um, the first pick that I had out of this was, if we can get to it. Okay, what the hell. There we go. Um, I really like this Hermes lime green purse. I'm really obsessed with lime green for summer this year. I don't know why. Don't ask me. Usually it's orange. Um, but this color is just phenomenal. Um, that calfskin bag is priced upon request, of course, because Hermes is always freaking hella expensive. But um, I just think it's very classic and different, and um, it's a crossbody bag, and crossbody is in right now. Um, I also like this orange Prada skirt, which is six fifty. Um, I just think it, it's a statement piece that makes your outfit pop with a classic white button up or something. That would be really amazing. Um, I loved these Nina Ricci sunglasses. And those are $730. They're pink, and the sides are really unique. I really like the sides. I'm sorry, it's kind of blurry because of lighting in here. Um, they're different. And, I mean, <clears throat> I've got about 200, 200 pairs of sunglasses, so if I pick out a pair of sunglasses, they got to be pretty damn unique because I've seen them all. Um, I really like these Emilio Pucci shoes. Sandal. I like them because they're kind of fetish-like, um, which is not Emilio Pucci. Emilio Pucci is very colorful and deco and springy, and this is so outside the box for them. I was amazed and shocked. I mean, this is something like Brianna would wear. Um, I l like it. It's priced upon request, which is weird because it's just a leather sandal. But um, that's Emilio Pucci. And you can get that on their website. Oh, I like this, too, this Hermes um, jacket and shirt combination. That is 2700 for the silk and wool jacket. The best alone is 1950 itself. Beautiful. Um, flat sandals are something that's really big for me. I don't know why this is glaring like that, but it's driving me crazy. Um, shit. It's ridiculous. I love these Todd's green, again with the lime green, um, embossed leather and wood sandal. That's $495, um, and it's crocodile, which is nice. Again with Hermes, they are rocking it, this, um... This whole issue, they, I have so many picks from them. Um, that is $840. Um, I like this Lawnman sandal, which is kind of like edgy, rough looking. Um, that is $995. And then this Marnie, which I'm not too crazy about, but it's unique. That's $565. Um, flat sandals, honestly, to tell you this season, not very common. Last season, they were all over the place, so that's probably why. But, I mean, I still like them. I think they go great with, like, maxi dresses and a wide leg pant or a capri pant or something really cute. Um, I think they work, but this season, I guess, um, somebody, maybe Anna Wintour, decided that flat sandals were out. I don't know. Um, stripes which I'll get into more later on. I love this um, Diane von Furstenberg bag. It's so beautiful, and it's different. It's $675. Um, this Python Fendi, which 
which is 4420, and this Prada bag, which has been featured everywhere. It's like a canvas. Um, that's $13.95. And then I love this. I think this one is... This one's Jill Sander, um, which is nylon blend bag, and that's $14.45. Blue and white is amazing for summer. I mean, it's like one of my favorites. And I think I've said that in the past. Um, woven bags are really big for um, summer. I love this Colhan leather woven uh, hobo in a cognac color, which is beautiful. It's very neutral. You can use that season after season after season. And that's 348 at Colhan.com. Um, this hand woven leather bag by Furla. It's kind of neat. That's $9.95. Um, and then. I've featured this Derek Lamb clutch. It's like an attache in my blog in the past. Um, that's eight fifty. And then this Perenza Chalure, which I've also featured, that's nineteen ninety five. And then you can never go wrong with an envelope clutch. Um, I like this Michael Kors calfskin one for three ninety five. Um, there's also DKY and Banana Republic. Shoes, shoes, and more shoes. I love shoes. This red one is Giuseppe Zanotti, which is beautiful. That's five ninety five. That'd go great with like a little dress or something to go out in. Um, love the gold heel on this Christian Louboutin. That's seven ninety five. That's a classic. I mean, you buy that. I know seven ninety five for some people is ridiculous, but you buy that and you've got it for years to come. Um, I love this Reed Crack Off. Um, Raffia and Lizard Pump, that's seven ninety five as well. And then Gian Vito Rossi for seven ninety, and that's Python. Um, one big trend that's never failing right now is the Oxford trend, kind of a boy meets girl or girl meets boy kind of a retro look. Um, this one I really like the denim color with the classic leather. That's a Colhan for two hundred forty-eight dollars. Um, Mango, that one's one twenty, and then an Aldo for ninety dollars. Watches, I love my some watches. Um, this one's nice, Patek Philippe. That's price upon request. His watches are always really expensive. Um, Dior is beautiful for $25.50. Um, Cartier for price upon request. Michelle makes some nice watches. That's $16.15. Um, Tag Hewer for $2,200. Um, Guess if you want to get a little cheaper range, but you want the look, that's $135. Chopard for price upon request, that's beautiful. And Ebel is price upon request because it has diamonds. But I always love this classic square look, like what Cartier does. Gold watch, you can't go wrong in the summertime. See? Look, gold. Michael Kors, I love it. It's my favorite watch in the whole world. I should get another one just to have a backup. <laughs> And we get to Amanda Seyfried. Um, I love the photographs. She does a bunch of, like, animal photographs in this um, spread, and I think she talks about um, her movie and whatnot. But the photographer is absolutely amazing that did this. She does this lamb. She's holding a lamb, and... That dress is Alexander McQueen, which is absolutely gorgeous. Amanda in Wonderland with the kitty cat. Kitty's beautiful. Um, and then she's got... Oh, I hate the damn glare on this shit. And she's got a duck. Shoes are cute, too. Giuseppe Zanotti. And then I had... I guess there is more. And the kitty cats. I, I think these pictures are really artistic, and 
she's got beautiful eyes. I mean, she's got big eyes, but they work for her facial features. Um, because not very many people have big, bold eyes like that, but they're beautiful. They work for her. She's very unique to me. Um, and then I wanted to go over stripes again. Sam Blair is driving me freaking crazy. <clears throat> um, stripes are in right now. They're huge. And I always like blue and white stripes for summer, so it always makes sense to me. But some people, they think, oh, stripes are ugly, but... Um, you have to do stripes to a certain degree. Like, some stripes, I just made a fashion faux pas a couple days ago at a party, and I wore the wrong shirt at the wrong time. Um, and on camera, it adds pounds, so it didn't look so cute. Somebody pointed it out to me, and I agreed. So that went in the donation bin. But um, you really have to be careful with stripes because they can work against you um, because they tend to make you look a little wider. So, like a big stripe like this um, doesn't really work for me, apparently. But I think that dress is absolutely beautiful. Um, Prada is doing a lot of stripes. Most of the stuff in here is Prada. Um, that's a Prada bag. Um, the jacket is Prada. The skirt is Prada. Um, that's a Fendi purse, which is beautiful. Color blocking is another way to do stripes. Awesome pictures, though. I love them. They're very, very um, editorial. Fashion forward. And that would be it. So that sums up Elle's issue for April with Amanda Seyfried. And I look forward to seeing you guys for Bizarre. Thanks for the support. Talk to you soon.